So now that we have the caps defined, uh, we'll go ahead and move on to creating our abutments and piers. Uh, they work in a similar way, except going longitudinally, we're gonna go vertically for these components. Um, the way they work is they work off a reference point off the main girder. In our case, we're using the cap. So bottom of cap, I'll start off the center, center cap, pick my abutment geometry, and then defined uh, the station locations, which are local. So we'll start off at zero. We want to go to a depth of negative 10. And let's divide this into two. And then go ahead and also add the piles. And we'll go take it them to negative 25. Keep them as a single element. As you can see, we were able to, with the same concept of cross sections along an axis, define the abutment itself. And then again, we'll make a copy of this for abutment B, as the concept is fairly similar in terms of what we're going to use on the other side. So copy here. Go select the reference point that we want to base it off of. And then we'll rename it. And with a few clicks just like that, we were able to get a lot of that geometry and reuse it. The only difference is we have to change the orientation. So let's go ahead and apply a 180 flip. Calculate. And again here, when we go and use these copy paste functions, they aren't quite like a CAD copy paste function. That abutment is tagged to the station and to the to the superstructure elements. So as that station changes and as the superstructure changes, that abutment is going to move around along with them. If we change the entire location of the bridge slightly, shift it over or change the alignment a little bit, it's going to follow along. You will of course have to go check that the geometry that you set up initially is still valid, but the continuity is there. And we do have a fine, fine way of controlling these elements. As you could see, this was a typical layout that we brought in. And even after the fact, we have a lot of options available in terms of how we want to rotate it and align it for the use on a different project. And this really helps you uh, standardize your workflow. So the solution itself is as open as it, as it gets to create your standards, but then it could also be uh, streamlined to be standardized to quicken up the process of the design work itself.